on this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you my Metal Charm collection. I used to do collection videos way back in the day, so let me know if you still want to see these types of videos. Anyway, these are charms that I have purchased, not ones that I have made. At the very end, I'm going to show a few things that I've made with these charms, but just a few, like a very select few. I got a lot of these charms from online shops, particularly from eBay and Etsy. Some of these I got from the Gem Fair, which is something in Oklahoma, and I just found this on the bag. There's a list of cities where this gem fair is going to be at sometime, so you can look it up online. I may not remember where I got each particular charm, but I'll try my best to let you know. Let us open up the charm bag that I have. Actually, I have a few different storage containers for my charms, but anyway. With this set of charms, you've seen some of them in my Etsy Amazon haul, but a lot of them are new ones that I've gotten from Etsy kind of recently and just haven't showed you guys. I've just been keeping them to myself and hiding them out and they're just like secret secret charms that's what they are so you guys have front row seats to my new charm collection I have Hello Kitty I have some little teacups and fairies and moons and we have keys and playing cards and we have cassette tapes I love the cassette tapes seahorses zebra guys and I just put a few out of each. There's a huge pile and there's a lot that I didn't mention because I am doing this voiceover from memory and I don't want to sit here thinking, hmm, which one did I miss? So you can see what's all out. They're so darn cute. And you can see that I have a lot of like antique bronze colored ones as opposed to silver. Also the base settings, which I'm about to show you right now, usually come in like an antique bronze. You may have seen these used in some videos on YouTube called like Resin Metal Charms, so on Paper Pastels has that video. But I first spotted these charms on Studio Lorian's channel, I believe her name is, or I believe that's how you pronounce it anyway. I could be way off, but anyway, yeah, I love her Resin Metal Charms. They're so adorable, so I started making some of my own and I plan to make a lot, lot more. They're just super cute. So yeah, different styles of base settings. I have keys, I have roundy ones with a lace trim, I have hearts and heart keys, and yeah, some of them are huge, some of them are tiny, there's just regular round ones. From the gem fair, I got a ton of different metal charms and a few beads. There were quite a few vendors there, I would have to say maybe a few dozen vendors, different tables, and they all had gemstones, charms, beads, um, findings, they had jeweler making tools, and there were people there polishing gemstones with like rock tumblers and stuff and all that high-tech equipment. I got 10 bags of metal charms for $35, which I think is a really, really great deal because at a craft store you probably wouldn't be able to find that kind of deal so it was really great I haven't counted how many are in each bag and I probably won't but there's quite a bit so I'm very excited to make stuff with these when I get the chance now on to some of my silver and colorful charms you've seen some of these in my Etsy and Amazon haul there's some newer ones I guess that you may not have seen and there's some like old earrings these are from the Claire's 10 for 10 sale that I like to participate it's really fun to get a bunch of chain and charms and just take apart stuff and reconstruct it into new things, so that's always fun. Always a joy in my life. <laughs> There's just random assortments of different things. I love the neon zipper pulls. I believe that someone sent those to me in a review or gift video package, so I really love those. A lot of these assorted charms are gifts from my viewers, so I really appreciate them and I definitely plan on making stuff out of most of them, if not all of them, because I love making stuff, but I need some more chain. I always have more charms than I have chain, so eventually I just want to get like a huge roll of chain that weighs like two tons so I can just sit and put necklaces together all day. That would be one of my dreams, guys, just to get so much chain and just have every single supply that I need to make stuff. So. That'd be awesome. I don't know why I'm rambling, but uh, yeah, just a bunch of random charms here and kind of beady guys too, and you can see little watch faces. And then I have some charms made out of clothespins. Check out that video. I have a video on how to make jewelry out of these clothespin guys. And I have 
these resin metal charms that I was talking about, but I don't have resin on them yet. Um, I do have Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on one of them. I think it's the Leaf Guy. And then finally, we have these Infinity Charms that I love and I got from Etsy. I don't know which shop, but I made a bracelet out of this guy with some rubber bands. That is all. The Charm and Charm Charms are signing off. Peace out, bro. Also, these are just the charms that I have with me in Oklahoma. I still have some in Ohio at my mom's house, but I didn't bring all those with me because my luggage would have weighed a ton and the fees for that are really crazy. So I just decided to leave those in Ohio for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Personally, I love looking at all the different charms that are out there that you can buy. I like seeing the different characters and shapes and designs. So if you guys want to show me your charms, go ahead and post a video response to this video or share a picture on Instagram, hashtag SoCraftastic, or post it to my Facebook or my Twitter. All those links and information is in the description box below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out the infinity bracelet when it's up it's gonna be a crafty friday video and you can learn how to make your own all right so you guys have a great rest of the day and i will see you soon bye thanks for bringing me here i know <laughs> <Here's myself. laughs> Yeah, my husband learned a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm young, so I guess that's <laughs> learned from So yeah, I went to a gem fair and didn't buy a single gemstone, but those guys were quite pricey and I didn't think that I would use them for anything anytime soon. So maybe in the future, if there's another one, then I'll get some gems. But for now, I'm mega happy with my metal charms. They're so dang gone, many dang gone. Sometimes that's a regular when I feel like it because it's just more fun than saying regular when I'm filming a video. It's like I'll say earrings instead of earrings sometimes, just, just for the heck of it. <laughs> Look at me. I feel wobbly. <laughs> One more time. Alright, so let me show you some of the stuff that I did and then you can like see how it's